let's let's talk about approach for generating lexicographic next permutation now if we look at uh, the pattern let's say array given to us is 1 2 3 4 and we have to tell what is the next lexicographic permutation for this array now one thing to observe is if last two elements of the array are in increasing order then generating next number in the sequence is pretty easy we can just swap these two so swapping these two will generate 1 2 4 3 and you can observe this is the next number in lexicographic order so this is one particular case where last two elements are in increasing order you just swap them and you are done another easy case is to finding when the next permutation is not possible at all and that case is 4 3 2 1 if the array is sorted in reverse order that means this is the highest number that could have been formed in the permutation so that is a check where you can say okay this is there's no next number possible in lexicographic order because this is already reverse sorted and this is the last number in the sequence now depends what is the other case where we may have to generate the permutations and we will have to have some logic so let's la take this case here array is not reverse sorted and last two numbers are not in increasing order so this is the only case we have to nail and figure out what should be our strategy for this case now let's see we always start from back because figuring out last two numbers are sorted will also be easy to if we are coming from the back side figuring out array is reverse sorted will also be easy if we are coming from the back side now here we start from the back side and we figure out current number is less than the previous number then we come here and we say this number is not less than the previous number this number is greater than the previous number so we reach and find a point where we find an index whose number is greater than the previous number and once we have found out that point this is that point what we need to do is the next number in the permutation let's first write the next number and then we'll de derive the pattern so next number in the permutation here will be one three two four now we have figured out this is the point and only thing that we need to nail is how do we convert our current number to the next number and if we observe carefully if we have found this kind of index what we can do is first thing we can do is we can sort the array part of the array this or rather than sort I'll say we can reverse the part of the array so here reversing will make it 1 2 3 4 and after we have done the reverse the lowest element the first element can be swapped with the previous element so 1 2 it will become 1 3 2 4 so what essentially we have done is this complete thing was in reverse order that means it was decreasing order so what we have done we first have sorted it then the least number in this whatever comes here because we have reversed it so decreasing has become increasing now and we swap reverse uh, the first number in reversed with the first number that comes here so this is the strategy that we have to convert into code if we take one more example for this here the one example is given 218765 this is a little bigger example so we are picking this example and let's try to apply the same strategy we start from here compare with the previous number this number is smaller so we go ahead this number is also smaller than 7 we go here 7 is also smaller than 8 we come here but 8 is greater than 1 so we have found an index this now once we find the index what we do we swap part of the array that means this point onwards we swap we reverse rest of the array so it will become 5 6 7 8 so 5 is swapped with 8 6 is swapped with 7 this is what we get and 2 1 was intact after swapping after reversing first number in this sub array that we have reversed and previous number to this we just swap them so it becomes 2 5 1 6 7 8 and that is what is our answer so this is the strategy simply go ahead and try to convert it into code and complexity wise if you analyze this will be linear complexity because finding that index is linear once we have found the index we write another loop to reverse it that is also linear so order of n to find that index 
order of n to reverse that array and order of 1 to swap the elements. So in worst case, we would have found this answer in order of n complexity.